Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1112. If you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have some columns with dates stored as text and numbers stored as text. And we need to not only see how to convert them back to serial number dates and actual dollar amount so we can make calculations, but also so we can group in a pivot table. We're actually going to run into two different errors. I'm going to create the pivot table and show you the error that you get when you have data mismatch for a date column and you're trying to group it. Then I'm going to show you a, a devastating error that I get with text to columns, and I can't figure out what's causing it, but how to get around it. First thing is, let's click in a single cell and create a pivot table to group those dates, because ultimately we need to group by month and then add up all the costs. And by the way, this is problem number 17 from a test that I give at, in my Excel Highline Excel class. All right, you ready? We could go to Insert Pivot Table, or we use the keyboard Alt N V, and then Enter to put this pivot table on a new sheet. I'm going to drag Date Field down to Rows. Looking good so far, but when I right click and try to group, this is an awesome feature. Oh, I get this error. Anytime you see this error when you're grouping numbers, it means you have a data mismatch. Sometimes it could be a whole column of date text values, or if you just have a single date stored as text, you'll get this error. Right click, delete that sheet, because I don't want it at all. Come back here, and we're going to use a well-known trick for converting date stored as text back to dates. I have the cell B8 selected, Control Shift down arrow to highlight the whole column of text dates, and now we go to text to columns. Or we could use the keyboard Alt-D-E or Alt-A-E. Now, the beautiful thing about this text to columns is there's three steps next. There's one, two, and three. The default settings for this automatically will convert date text values back to date. So I'm going to click Escape and do the whole thing with keyboards. Alt a, E. Notice that the F is underlined and finished. So because I want the defaults all the way through, I simply Alt F. Alt F and just like that. So it's Alt A, E, Alt F. That is a well-known trick for converting any numbers stored as text back to numbers. Now watch this. For this problem, we need to convert these because the same thing would happen if I tried to add these. It wouldn't work. Control Shift down arrow and watch this. I'm going to Control S because I want to keep that. I'm going to get a devastating error here. Watch this. Alt A E, Alt F. Oh, there is the error. Look at that. And I have no idea what is causing this. I'm sure it's something to do with a file or something, because this does not usually happen when you use that awesome text to columns. So I'm going to click Escape, open this back up, and we'll show you an alternative method. Because ultimately, with Excel or anything in life, right? sometimes one method doesn't work, so we got to use a different method. I'm going to come over to the side, and in a separate cell, I'm going to use a second concept about getting text numbers back to numbers. Any math operation on numbers stored as text will convert it back to a number. So watch this. I'm going to say equal. Actually, I'm going to do it right next to the data set equals this. Any math operation, since I want to keep the number the same, I'm going to add 0, Control Enter. Immediately, you can see this number is aligned to the right. This is aligned to the left. Anytime you see numbers or dates aligned to the left, you have to be suspect, because that's the default behavior for text. Double click and send it down. Now, I need these numbers in this column. So watch this. I'm going to point to the edge. I see that Move cursor. I'm going to right click. And when I right click, I can drag. And I see that green box or whatever color it might be. When I get over the numbers I want to replace, I let go of the right click. And this secret menu pops up that says Copy Here as Values. Boom. Control Shift down arrow, Alt E A A to clear all. Now I can build my pivot table. I'm going to close this, scroll over here, Alt and V and Enter to put this on a new sheet. Now when I drag date to rows, right click group, 
Ah, there is that beautiful dialog box. I'm going to say group by months and years. Click OK. Is that amazing? Instantly it got all the months and years. I always do years just in case there's a rogue date. I would never want to, or I usually wouldn't want to group all the Januaries from different years. If you don't want the years, you can now drag it off. Now we drag costs, and instantly we have our totals. Both are numbers the pivot table can understand. Always for pivot tables, design, layout, show in tabular, because I don't want that row labels there. I want to see the field name. Instantly I see that. Right click. Do not go to Format Cells. You want to go to Number Formatting, because you want to format the actual field, not the cells. So when I come to Number Formatting, I click Currency, or whatever you want, Accounting, and click OK. And there I have my monthly cost. So I go back over here. That is how to do problem 17. We saw text to columns. It's beautiful. There so, seems to be some error in this file. So it didn't work on these numbers here, but no problem. We know multiple ways to do things. I did some math operation, converted them back to uh, numbers. Actually, i got to show you one other way to do this. Ready? There's always multiple ways. I'm going to type a 0 here, Control-Enter, and copy that 0. Now watch this. I'm going to highlight this whole second column here. These are numbers stored as text, and I want them back to numbers. I go to Home, and check this out, the Paste drop-down. There, let's just do Paste Special, because I don't see what I want here. And down here, Operations. Remember, how do we convert? text numbers back to numbers, any math operation. These are operations. So I simply can add. Remember, what is this? Paste special. I copied something. I'm not literally going to paste it. I'm going to do the operation add. And when I click OK, instantly that will, oh, I should have done uh, values. But now I'm going to have to Control Shift down arrow, right click. I'm going to point to the paintbrush. Scroll all the way up and now click right there. Boop. Control Z, Z. Let's see if we could do this a different way. Control C, Control Shift down arrow. Go to Paste Special. And now I'm going to say Values Only and Add. So this means I'm pasting just the values and I'm adding that 0. Click OK and instantly that way I didn't lose the number formatting and borders. All right, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, we'll see you next video.